Like, it's no, there's no way. I literally just got done reacting to you, bro. But I guess we back, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get started with the video, you feel me? I got y'all perfect, what the fuck? What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, t 2 Enoxy, but shh. Don't tell nobody, look, check this out. As you guys can see by the title of the video and the thumbnail, yes, we are back on the Civil Rights Lawyer. But the title of the video that we are reacting to from the Civil Rights Lawyer is talking about country, country singer writes songs about arrested by idiot cops. Charges now? Wait, what that mean? We gotta see though, I ain't gonna lie, the, the thumbnail look mad crazy, y'all seen it. So that's why y'all click it. But I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and turn my post notifications. If you're not in the Noxie family, all you gotta do is put down in the comment section. Hashtag K-N-O-X, Y-Y-F-A-M. I'm gonna like it, let's know that you're in the Noxie family. It's that simple. And make sure to go follow me on my Instagram as well. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow it so you don't have to follow nobody else and you think that it's me. But the whole time it's not Noxie, no bullshit. But thirdly, comment something positive down in the comment section. I really appreciate if you guys do so, you know what I'm saying? But listen, let's go ahead and uh, say our blessings. Y'all know I was just smoking this shit earlier in my last video. So don't sit there and act like, you know, I'm just chiefing. Y'all can hit it. I got y'all. I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and bow your heads. Follow along. I really appreciate if you guys do so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this prayer. Thank you, God, for this wood and blessing. Prayer fires. In Jesus' name we pray. We smoke. Another one. One last time. This is my channel. I can do whatever I want on it. You feel me? This is for the people that don't really like me for no reason. And I don't have no beef for nobody. Type shit. You know who you are. You just want to know. I ain't got to deal with you. But my, you got to worry about the Nazi family. You, you feel me? They on your ass. If you comment something negative. But if it's positive, <laughs> you're on the good side. No bullshit. But if you're not in the family, get active. But if you don't like what I do on my channel... It's easy to hit that back button. <laughs> if you actually didn't subscribe, it's easy to hit that unsubscribe button. And if you didn't mean to like this video, just hit that dislike button. <laughs> or don't hit no button at all. And go on about your day. You ain't gotta hurt nobody feelings. You ain't gotta talk no shit. At the end of the day, I'm still so positive. But if you really want them bitches, my Nazi family got them. They got them. They know how to fight. Let's get right. Not the ad. No! Oh, oh, oh. Come on. When's the last time you used marijuana? You've never used marijuana? Never vape THC? Not today? Not at some point this week? This 18-year-old country music singer from Montana was pulled over for speeding by a state trooper who was just looking for any reason to accuse him of driving while intoxicated. Mm -hmm. Even though he blew a 0.0, .0 showing that he had no alcohol in his system. 0 .000. 0 .000. And then even though he did all the stupid human tricks that he was asked to do. It. 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 Even though he was 100% polite and cooperative, with the officer, he was still wrongfully arrested and charged. Stand up. Oh. Oh. You bet. All right, doing this. Slow as fuck, though. Then touch his nose. <laughs> Freaky ass nigga. Cooperative. Touching my officer, nose. He was still wrongfully arrested and charged. Right. Stand up. Oh, this is what I was already saying because I did pause it too. Like, I meant to pause it on purpose, but that ended up happening. Cause. Let me get this straight. 0, 0.00. All I want to know is, does the officer have a body cam on? If he does, GG's. If he don't, <sighs> that'd be crazy. I ain't had no words for that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be mad honest. A blood test taken after the arrest showed what any rational police officer should have known that the kid was completely sober and innocent. Yet this happened to him, and he wrote a song about it. 
It's a dark and cold Friday night I'm flying 62 in a 35 Trying to make it home as I see the lights flip on These junk science Yeah, what the fuck is that? Yeah, what the fuck is that? Oh, fuck! Hey! It's like they get hello. high on it And they just keep doing it Hold on, hold on, hold on You gonna link I need to see if you're looking for a song, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Probably gonna link in the description. I appreciate if you do, because I'm gonna li bop to that motherfucker. Y'all heard? Y'all heard what he said? I was driving home in a 65 on a 35. Mm -hmm. Stupid ass. <laughs> nah, I'll play it though. That shit hard though. That shit's hard. Because okay, I'll bop to it. I love country music, bro. Swear. Get it from my grandma. and your friends and family by educating yourself and also by sharing this footage of this dishonest an incompetent police officer in Montana who was out there destroying the lives of innocent people. Right. We the people must demand consequences. As a practicing civil rights lawyer, I'll go over some of the constitutional rights at play that people should understand. And if you like going over police encounters, interesting and important court cases, and learning about civil rights, subscribe, because I try to put up videos at least twice a week. So let's break down this footage. Let's go. I ain't gonna talk too much because I was talking to you. Okay, I stopped you because you're doing 62. Yeah, I, um, I live literally right down the road from This footage shows the encounter that took place between Jaden Decker, 18 years old, and Montana Highway Patrol Trooper Donovan Van Note. Now, Jaden Decker is a young country musician from Missoula, Montana, okay. who fell in love with music at an early age. At just six years old, Jaden picked up a guitar and began playing, quickly demonstrating natural talent for the instrument. And since then, he's been owning his craft and developing a unique style of country music that he calls Rocky Mountain Country. If your heart's going 117 on the freeway, from a text on your phone saying, let's go our own ways. Down, so Yo. He released his first album, Montana. Like, I love music so bad. This is my last time pausing. But the way he's playing that motherfucking guitar, pause, he's working that motherfucker. Like, no cap. Montana grown Bro. in 2020. Fast mm -hmm. forward to April 26th, 2024. He ends up getting pulled over by Trooper Van Note. The show that I was supposed to play that night was canceled due to weather, so I went to a friend's place in Florence, Montana for the evening. Okay. Heading home, I was stopped by Trooper Van Note. He claimed that I was speeding 62 in a 35 mm -hmm. as his reason for stopping me. Right. Immediately, Trooper Van Note starts to question me while observing my ID, asking things like, I'm not real fast at math, how old are you? And how come in your driver's license photo, your eyes are nice and clear, and tonight they're all bloodshot and watery? Where you come from? How was your buddy's house? Good. Yeah. Jaden, I'm not real fast at math. How old are you? 18. 18. You still in school? Did you graduate already? Yeah. Yeah, Big sky? June 1st? Okay, so you're senior then. Yep. I'm an okay. You have a cell phone number? I do, yeah. What's your phone number? Hey, Jaden, how come in your driver's license photo your eyes are nice and clear and tonight they're all bloodshot and watery? I'm not sure. Not sure? I'm, I'm sober. Any alcohol? How can you even tell from the fucking... Well, you can't tell that shit from a fucking picture, especially at night. I don't give a fuck you flashing the light. It's not even gonna get that... That... It's not... Bro, you, that light gonna bounce off the fucking picture. You barely gonna see his eyes. You barely gonna see the address. Come on. Hang out here for just a sec. Trooper Van Note then told me to get out of my vehicle and stated that he will be putting me through a series of standardized field sobriety tests failing to ask for my consent. I complied with his orders and submitted to the SFST, during which several remarks were made by the officers suggesting cannabis impairment and how all of my performances were pointing towards it. Mm -hmm. The officer's written report contains information that is not consistent with his dash cam footage. I'm off the door, we're gonna step out of the car and we're gonna do some standardized field sobriety testing. Okay, I'm gonna head back towards the front of my car here. Jaden, do you have any weapons on you? I have a pocket knife in my left pocket. Okay. Anything other than that? Yes, sir. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, just face the front of my car there. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. You're not under arrest. I just need to pat you down and make sure you don't have other weapons, okay? With the other side. Any boot knife or boot gun or anything like that? Landmines. No? Nothing like that, huh? 
you got a body camo? Let me briefly point out two constant. Wait, it doesn't matter. We got the video. What that the I've fuck? Seen so far, one is clearly this cop who thinks he knows everything about cannabis, as he calls it, is engaging in a cannabis DUI investigation, and he's asking questions that he believes may elicit incriminating responses. And yet he has not advised this individual of his Miranda rights. And it's important for people to know that they have a Fifth Amendment right to keep their mouth shut if they so choose to. Yeah, this guy yeah. clearly doesn't care about the Constitution, as demonstrated by his blatant disrespect for the Second Amendment. You can tell that he treats anybody who is exercising their Second Amendment rights as a criminal. And lastly, that brings me to the fact that he is, he just stuck his hand in this kid's pocket. Basically. And he's frisking him for weapons. Well, this is known as a Terry frisk. And when are cops allowed to do that? When they believe, when they have specific information that an individual is both armed and dangerous. Well, mm -hmm. he said he had a pocket knife that is not a weapon and he identified it. There is no indication here that this individual is dangerous. This is an illegal frisk, and you can see he stuck his hand in his hoodie pocket. He's looking for what he thinks might be drugs in there, I guarantee it. Right. This guy spits on your constitutional rights. Let's watch more. Okay. Okay, so Jim, um, let me explain to you what I'm seeing. Uh, the speed was ridiculous. I get your 18 trying to get home. Uh, bloodshot, watery eyes. I can't in good conscience let you leave, so I make sure you're in a safe condition to drive. So we need to investigate this thing and go from there. Look how hard he's, he's, he's looking at me, though. He's trying to, like... You can't. What happens when you try? You ever lost yourself in the mirror or nothing? I mean, I, I can try if you want me to no, try. No, just, this one, we're going to try and get your eyes to cross. Okay. So just focus right here at the end of my finger. I'm going to go two circles around your face and come down towards the bridge of your nose. I'm not actually going to touch you. Okay. Touch it. I thought he touched his ass Pause. though. Pause. Six inches. Six inches. Six inches. Six Okay, you can put your foot down. Go and tip your head back. Go and close your eyes. Begin. What is he doing? Okay. How long was that? How'd you get to that? Just counting it out. Okay. Did you do Mississippi's? Did you do thousands? Just one. Just one, two, three. Okay. Tip your head back. Close your eyes. Let me see right there. Let me, let me tell you what I'm seeing, because I don't believe there's any kind of mystery in any kind of investigation that I'm doing. Okay. Um, I'm seeing some impairment. Okay. When's the last time you used marijuana? You've never used marijuana? Never vape THC? Not today, not at some point this week. Okay. Because speed could be here or there, but that's a very common sign of impairment for people who use cannabis. They, they go fast. 62 in the 35, that's pretty fast, right? I can't hold back. I can't do it, bro. This thing was going 35. 
At least 40, 37. Nothing's wrong with it. You could go up five. Like, <laughs> okay. How did he make you look dumb after everything you had told this nigga to do? You told this man to touch your nose. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Look up. Touch your nose. Like, I didn't want to pause it, but we is in the middle of the video. I did a good job. Because I could have, ooh, I could have ripped. Could have ripped, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Pause, but. Another indication is lack of convergence. It's a definite lack of convergence. Okay. Another thing that you have is the bloodshot watery eyes. That's common with cannabis. Okay. Another thing is at least two scores on the walk and turn test. You had at least two, probably three. I'll have to double check my notes in my head. On the one leg stand, you just have the swaying. Okay. On the modified Romberg, you did 31 seconds, which is pretty right on as far as the time estimation. Um, pretty heavy eyelid triggers. And sway. Yeah, we got to add. Oh my God. Let me recuperate. Because I did already talk a little something. But, how, okay, if my eyes are watery, why have I got allergies, bro? What happened if I haven't slept? <laughs> because I've been working all day. You tell me that I basically did the test wrong. Knowing that I know for a fact in my brain I did it right. You just wanted to... You just want me to go to jail. I think you really have a fan of this kid, bro. You really a fan of him, bro. You gotta be. You wanna know how? Cause you off this niggas. No cat. Like, like, get off my man's dick, bro. Finger to nose, kind of the same thing. The eyelid trimmers missed about two out of the, the six attempts. Okay. So everything's pointing toward cannabis use, okay? You want to change your story at all? No, I mean, if you have a test, is there one test? Okay. Would you need a test? I mean, I'm, I know I'm sober. I haven't done nothing. Okay. My house is right down the road. But it, I mean, I'm not trying to disrespect you. No, I, I'm, I, you I don't feel, feel I don't feel, I don't feel disrespected at all, man. If you feel a test is necessary, I'm, Right. I'm, I'm not the You know, that's my thing is, especially with the balance thing too, specifically that was in my head, it's just nervous system, you know, trembling a little bit. Okay. Just running to the wrong point. I mean, I'm sure you hear this from everybody, so I know it's not a special. Okay. Can I take your pulse real fast? Okay. What's his pulse? Okay, so just relax yourself. Oh, that thing was calm as fuck. <laughs> Trooper Van Note then proceeded to take my pulse along so he claimed it was 90 beats per minute to which he said it's higher than average which is pretty common with cannabis usage you're sitting right about 90 beats per minute well it's higher than average which is pretty common with cannabis usage for reference according to the american heart association the average resting heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute but can increase due to factors like stress, nervousness, or anxiety. Right, I got bad anxiety, so it probably would hit at that moment soon. During the course of this traffic stop, I asked to take a test five different times. Right. If you feel tested necessary, I'm more than compliant to take it. Okay. 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 You from around here? I am. I, yeah, I live in New Zealand. I mean, I've been in Montana much of my life. I was born in Illinois. At one point, Trooper Van Note walks away to speak with his partner, Montana Highway Patrol Trooper Hartstein. Mm -hmm. Trooper Van Note can be heard in the video telling his partner, he, meaning Jaden, has no smell of marijuana. Right. There was no possession, there was no admission of use, and there was no search of my vehicle. Trooper Van Note still concluded his conversation with, so I've got cannabis impairment. My partner just showed up, so I'm gonna go fill him in on what I got going on. I'm gonna go talk to you here a sec, okay? This is fine. Okay. Um, eyes are bloodshot. Mm -hmm. He has no smell of marijuana. No admission of use of marijuana. I was then asked to take a preliminary breath test, to which I agreed. After blowing straight zeros, mm -hmm. Trooper Van Notes stood me up 
instructed me to put my hands behind my back and told me that I was under arrest for a DUI <laughs> drugs. Wow. Point zero zero. Point zero zero zero. Which is what we're expecting, right? Because you don't have any alcohol in your system, right? Okay. But uh, I've seen quite a few cannabis in the last month. So there is one, but I, well, like I said, one step at a time. We're gonna get to that. Okay. Wow! Look at his face. He was Before like. Before being taken to jail, I was brought into St. Patrick's Hospital to submit for a blood test, looking for marijuana or any other substances that I may have been under the influence of while driving. Those results wouldn't be in for another four to eight weeks. For more immediate evidence, that Monday morning, I went to Compliance Monitoring Systems and took an observed nine panel urinalysis test. And those results, as well as my blood results, all came back negative. Zero metabolites, alcohol, or anything else present in my system. Wow. Two months to the date later, June 26, 2024, my case has been dismissed and all charges dropped. Yes, Please sir. share this post to help me get word out that any driver could be placed in this position, even if you are totally innocent, sober, and have never used a substance in your life. Mm. As a songwriter, I wrote a song about the night to tell my story. It's called Thrown to the Wolves. That's how I do. Wow. I'm too happy this. The song is tough. We heard it from the beginning, right? I want him to play it again. But why is he playing it through this scene right here? You should have been back when he was playing the guitar. You feel me? Like right here, I can't take it serious. Like, like I get the I get the meme of it, but it was just funny. It caught me off guard. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all get bro. If y'all know, y'all know, bro. I can't even. That's, bro, that's fucked up, bro. I don't want to cuss on it anymore. No I'm trying my best. That's how I keep pausing it's on my cousin. It's a cold Friday night. I'm flying 62 in a 35. Trying to make it home as I see the lights flip on. Yeah. Yeah. Red and blue light up my face. Will you step out of the vehicle, please? All the first words that he said to me. Have you smoked tonight? I said not a toke. He saw it in my eyes. The gloss and the bloodshot red told him otherwise. No, that's so hard. I fucked with that cover though. I fucked with that. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, y'all make sure y'all like this video though. I ain't gonna cut. Hold on, we gotta get this. Jaden really is oh, very good. talented, and I'll put all the links below to the full song and his YouTube channel and his website, etc. Right. And how great is it that he's perfectly illustrating the importance of exercising our First Amendment rights to criticize our government when it does terrible things to us, which right. is exactly what happened to Jaden. I mean, there's nothing that will change your, your mindset like being involved in something like this, where you know 100% that you are innocent, that you did nothing wrong. You, you lose any kind of knee-jerk respect that you have for law enforcement, and you, you see them for what they are, which is your government, which will screw you whenever they have the opportunity. So unless you know a police officer personally, mm -hmm. because he's your brother or your, or your cousin or your, your friend that you grew up with or whatever, you, you can't just automatically assume that they won't lie about you and arrest you illegally for whatever reason because they're just malicious and evil mm -hmm. or because they're ignorant they're dumb it makes them feel good about themselves or on a power trip we don't know yeah it doesn't matter 
Here, Jaden did a fantastic job of documenting the wrong that was done to him. He wants to prevent, if he can, that wrong from happening to anyone else. Right. As far as I know, there has been no accountability for this police officer in Montana. And I'm sure it has happened to other people. And it will continue to happen to yeah, other people. Yeah. Unless this guy is taken off the streets. You know, he said he couldn't, in good conscience, let Jaden drive away. Well, you know what? We can't, in good conscience, allow him to continue to have a badge and be able to destroy the lives of innocent people. Right. That's why it's important for you to spread this footage of showing what a scumball he is Mm -hmm. until his employers, who are really the taxpayers, demand accountability. What do you think about this officer's actions this night? Let me know in the comments. Also, about Jaden's music. Wouldn't that be a crazy twist of fate if this wrong that was done to him, this violation of his civil rights, ended up boosting his career? So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more police encounters and constitutional rights discussions. Remember, our rights don't end where your fear begins. Freedom is scary. Deal with it. Freedom is scary. So deal with it. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you want to be the Nazi family, all you got to do is put down in the comment section, hashtag K-N-O-X, Y-Y-F-A-M. I'm going to like it let you know that you're the Nazi family. It's that simple. And make sure to go follow me on my Instagram as well. We'll be linked down in the description so it will be easy for you guys to follow it so you don't have to follow nobody else and you think that is me. But the whole time it's not Nazi, no bullshit. But I love y'all. Yeah, my heart, yeah, my soul. I bond with never fold. It's your boy T2E Nazi, but shh. Don't tell nobody.